Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back. Horizon Forbidden West. Let's get on the mount. Well, you said... Yeah, I've completed that. Why, why are you defaulting back to there? That's complete now. Nine. I'm going to see what's up here, then I can activate these bonfire uh, campfires as well. There we go. You saw nothing. How are you gonna how far can you actually climb up? Not very far. Okay. Don't know what's going on there. No idea what's going on in there. Keep getting stuck in awkward positions. There we go. Hunting grounds, that's now active. Why is it? Don't automatically turn quests on that I don't want activating. Alright, cool. So we've got that going. Is the right way? Yeah. Machine All right. Me. Yeah, yeah, thanks Aloy, I got it. Why did you just stop? You're a machine, you don't get tired. Hmm. What's back here? Well, you go do you, because I don't go yet, yeah, can't bring you up here. I think I can climb up this cliff. Be careful not to let this stain my hands. Yeah, that's that's the that's the problem we should be concerned with. What's this? Looks like this camp was abandoned a while ago.
Then I will help myself to some stuff. You got for me. Right. Don't tell us why I won't have to come back here later to, for a mission. Watchtower. Maybe I should check it out. Yeah, why not? Okay. Oh yeah, I need to scan them first. Come on, Aloy, grab the thing. But the controls are really skittish. That's, that's probably my my only complaint really is that it is not a smooth experience control wise this tower is barely holding together it, it's doing all right. There's Baron made it. And there's another one of the lens. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Okay, I can't see any more towers. That one I think I've already done. Oh no, maybe not. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that's going to be the plan then. Let's go over here, see what these question marks are. See what this quest is. Have I missed any others? No? Okay, well, you seem to be all good. Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Trusty mount. Am I just randomly running over animals? Yeah, I've killed some wildlife. No worries. Let's see what this area is. A 
the way, lads. You guys saw nothing, you're fine. You be good and stay there. What's this? All right, I need to get up there somehow. This way, maybe? There'll be some way of getting up there, surely. Ah. I've had to override machines and cauldrons before. I wonder if they're any out here. Maybe. You saw nothing. Scroll, angry glyphs, scrawled into tattered parchment. Uh, bannered, where are the urgent supplies you promised, or are your words just farts in the wind? Send us the following immediately, or else the extra weapons that we had to leave behind at our last camp. You better not have sold them. We can't keep hunting machines with sticks and worn hammers. Uh, scrap a sap, six barrels if you can, uh, if you can get them. Forge forth, forge froth. 12 barrels, cheap, so don't whine. Jiren's Tears, 2 barrels, Rusty Hammer, Crooked, Aladorman, Dell's Ruin, and Tankards, Pickaxes, those Forge Bricks, and 3 boxes of nails. We need this stuff, so no more t uh, toiling around. Do what you promised, or we'll, we'll be coming back to scrap your forge. Well, that ain't too, ain't too nice, is it? Okay. 
Need to get up there, but how? Unknown there, workbench up there. Hey there, buddy. We'll forget that one for now. Let's see what's over here. Never mind. It's gonna be quick for me to go down this way. And then back up and round. Red Hood Quarry. Alright. I didn't intend to do that, but hey. I will make do. Yeah, you. What? what you at? Never you mind. Academic notes written in precise Kaja glyphs. My research regarding the crystals has been more successful than anticipated. I've made significant progress in the quest to learn what green shine is and thus where it can be found. Through the process of elimination, I can now state that green shine is not formed within rock but on it on its surface. The quarry and nearby mine have given me ample evidence to support this conclusion. The notion that green shine is formed through the application of intense pressure or temperature can therefore be discarded. Additionally, I've gathered sufficient proof to denounce the re religious idiocy that Greenshine is a gift of the sun and somehow springs into existence via green twilight flares. Rather, entire clusters of Greenshine can be found in locals, in locales the sun cannot reach, such as underground caverns. It is therefore safe to assume that sunlight is no factor in its formation. There does appear to be a correlation between Greenshine deposits and machine presence, however. Uh, Hypothesis that the crystal is formed as a side effect of canister leakage seems ever more alluring. Okay. The local Osirum stone workers seem to agree. They believe green shine to be a hardened state of blaze, a substance that I must admit has similar visual properties. Next step, devise an experiment whereby I attempt to transform blaze into green shine through artificial means. Note to self, acquire fireproof armour before testing begins. Sounds like a good idea. Right. I talk to you? Oh, you're a hunter. Hello. Uh, resource. Net metal horn torpedo charger. Don't know if I need those or not. Next time we will forge a deal together. I'm sure we will. Uh oh yeah, I can upgrade a pan finally upgrade my arrow pouch. Perfect. I'll carry 24 arrows. Okay. Ah, I wonder if I get up that way. There's a quest there. Oh, 
Oh boy. Right, let's go see what this quest is about. Don't worry about it. I'm not. I was never here. Oh, you're there. Hello. Hey. What happened here? What do, what do you care? Don't you? As it happens? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these, these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> what a dick. Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. Saw a machine in there that I didn't see before. We'll investigate that later. Don't actually know where I'm going. Ah, I see. Get away from me, you fucking bomb! That sounds like I'm on the right track. Better hurry. Come on, we can make it. Oh shit. There we go. You did it. You got them all. Bloody hell. All right, what's your story? Let's have a word, stranger. Are you hurt? I live, 
My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens, which in some very specific circles is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers. I'll make it very worth your while. All right, well, I've got most of them. You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. All six of them all lit up all around the dawns. They used to warn folks that the Tanakhs are coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the car just spared no expense putting them together. Hence, the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. So, you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. A thief. Look, the Karja are going to tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? It's a victimless crime. A uh, opportunity. Tell that to your friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. Why can't you do it? Look, even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. Oh, come on. I, I can't just let the lenses go to waste. That's not what my father would have wanted. Your father, is he a thief? Sorry, opportunist too? No, he helped design the tower. Before he passed on. So that's how you know about the lenses. Yeah. And why they have sentimental value. I see. I already found some, actually. <laughs> well, look at that. Looks like you're quite the opportunist too, eh? Let me take these off your hands then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant, after all. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. Well, here's the last one. Should be able to pull that thing out of the wall. I can't shoot without ammo. Smell the opportunity here, can't you? Come on. Oh, it's inside. Okay, I'm in. Oops. No, not breakable. Fair enough. Grab the things. I think I can pull that. Of course, I could, you can pull it. We've been pulling all of them. I am really 
busting up this place. Well, they're tearing all the towers down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There we go, I see it. One of the signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. Okay, I think that's the last lens. I should trade with Reyna the next time I'm in Baron Light. Good stuff. Whoa. Right, well that could have gone better. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Did you find the lens? Maybe. If you're ready to trade. Ha! Let's deal. Here you go. Isn't that a sight? And here's a little something for your troubles. Now if you find any more of these, make sure to come find me at Baron Light. You got it. See you around. Well, your ankle certainly got better. Right. What's this? I know what makes these crystals grow. Oh, growth. Remote origin. Invulnerable to impact. Special gear required to clear. I see. Let's head back then. to go I'm trying to go down I I get the impression you're not supposed to be there mate let's see what's over here Find a cauldron. Let's have a little nosy around here quickly. Nothing important really around here. Uh, 
I might talk to the guards. All right. I think we are pretty much. We've done all the main things we could do here for now, so let's head back to Baron Light. Oh, you're still here. Everything okay up there? What, so you care now? Yeah, no, not just, I'm just making small talk. Keep up the good work. Here we go. So, boy, you're going to have to stay out there. There's Aaron. That looks like he's had a few. Yeah, we know. Lighten up, Paiyi. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh are handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Fair enough. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. All right, let's go see this Nozar. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor... Oh! We still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olvind was thrilled. Screw Olvind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you about to quit already? You've had enough? Stand aside, soldier. Sir?
There's the commander. You can brace yourself. And good luck. Oh, good. Why this one easily? We can have peace with these barbarians. Beyond me. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> the Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the east where you come from, Dwarf. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Uh. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. It would be worth another look around the Daunt before the embassy. Alright. Uh, yeah. Probably check those out. See what that's all about. Two of those. Alright. Ooh. Don't mind if I yes. Alright, well, Commander Nursa wasn't as much as a dick as I was expecting him to be, so. There's that at least. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Horizon Forbidden West. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.